fuck, do I want T3 with me for this? This is gonna be a bitch. Yeah. 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 T3. T3's got this shit, bro. He's got this. There's no shield, so just. Welcome back to Knights of the. I get fucking center brain. God damn it. Welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, I'm still Darth Love and all that fun stuff. I'm gonna head over to that temple. I'm probably gonna have to fight some shit along the way, but, uh. Who knows? Do I have any any other missions? Mandalorian. Re oh fuck! I forgot to look up that. Well, let's go investigate the ruins first, cause I, I know how to do that. Just walk over there and go in through a fucking door and find some dead bodies. Hi, John. Don't worry, I will avenge your cowardice soon. Hey, the car's actually gone. That's fantastic. If you uh, bring the robot back and give it to her, they just walk off this way. Walk away. That's, that's not what's supposed to happen. Oh, for the love of... Come on. Let me attack the horny. What the fuck? There we go. Huzzah! <laughs> Stunned his ass. I like that. Get him, T3. Yeah, you show him who's boss. T3, you're my favorite companion. Bastila? That's all. I have to romance Bastila. I don't want a romance fast up. Oh, did you hear your friend getting murdered? Okay. Did, are we are we gonna deal with this? Well, you know what? I'm just gonna let him be. He doesn't seem interested in fighting me. I don't give a shit. He's gonna climb up my ass, and I'm not gonna pay attention. He's gonna be like, Rawr. I'm gonna get rammed by a fucking dog goat. Is he coming? I feel like he's coming. Ah, probably good. Bastila. Fuck it off. We're on a tight timetable here. By that I mean there's a goat coming. Alright. Maybe it's not. Screw it. Into the temple. Strange ruins. It's a hobbit hole. Yeah, that, that shot definitely helps us realize it's a fucking hobbit hole. Yes, I did click open door. I do like those doors. Like the the grid pattern. It's neat. <sighs> and this is uh, creepy. Okay. So, I guess into the next door then. Let me try. Joy is speaking a language you do not recognize. I don't understand you. <laughs> I still don't understand you. I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Really? Who gave it away? Each time it spoke, it was using a very different... I noticed that. The droid can probably understand us. I hope so. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. I understand, apparently. I can produce any of the languages spoken by the slaves of the builders. Hey! I recognize this language. I recognize this language as well. Oh, why do you? It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. True, we go there. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? Communication was vital to ensure that slaves constructing this temple according to the wishes of the builders. But you are not of the slave species, neither are you of the builders. You are like one who came before. It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Obviously. Uh, what are you and why are you here? I am the Overseer. The Builders programmed me to enforce discipline among the slaves while the monument to the power of the Star Forage was constructed. At project completion, all slaves were executed. I was reprogrammed to serve should a Builder return in search of the knowledge of the Star Forage. Okay, who are these Builders you keep talking about? The Builders are the great masters of the galaxy, the conquerors of all worlds, the rulers of the infinite empire, and the creators of the Star Forge. These Builders must have been an extinct people. Okay. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. So because they, they died before, before we became a thing. The were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. Yeah, I doubt this is talking about the Huts. There's no species that would fit with this information. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe the Selkath are the Builders. No. He said he could speak any of the slave race languages. I highly doubt the Selkath. 
doesn't make sense. Something must have wiped out the builders. Maybe the builders referred to the Sith. No. Uh, something must have happened in the wipe out the builders. The empire of the builders is infinite and everlasting. None can stand against their might and the power of the Star Forge. Okay, what is a Star Forge? Star Forge is the glory of the builders, the apex of their infinite empire. It is a machine of invincible might, a tool of unstoppable conquest. Did, did that answer any questions for you? Do you feel like you understand what it is now? You're probably wrong. Or could you be a little more specific? The, the Star Forge is the glory to the builders, the apex of the... Okay, yeah, the is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. Or it's programmed Star to not tell us. Like some type of weapon, perhaps. Forge. It could be anything. Maybe, okay. Could it have been a factory or weapons plant? Maybe it has nothing to do with the Sith. No, it definitely does. Could it have been a factory or weapons plant? Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. Yeah. But I suspect the Star Forge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Respond? Sure. How long have you been here? My chronological circuits have marked over ten full revolutions of this system, outermost planet around the sun since the builders left. Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. I wonder why there's no history there on these people. Mistake. There is no mistake. The builders constructed my chronological circuitry using the technology of the Star Forge itself. My calculations are infallible. Okay. What is your purpose here again? Now that the slaves are gone, my purpose is to aid those who seek knowledge of the Star Forge, if they are worthy. The ones who came before you, the ones like you, not builders, but not slaves, sought knowledge of the Star Forge and its origins. They proved themselves worthy. They discovered the secrets of the Star Forge, locked behind the sealed door behind me. But there was another who failed to unlock the secrets and paid the ultimate price. The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. Oh, Nemo died. No name and no life. And it cost him his life. Yeah. Okay. How can I prove myself worthy? Entering the Proving Grounds to the east and west. Within them, uh, those who understand the will of the Builders can unlock their secrets and open the doors. But those who fail will be destroyed by the power of the Temple itself. More than this, I am not programmed to say. Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door uh -huh. and uncovered the secrets of the Star uh -huh. Forge. Now Malak is using the Star Forge to fuel his <laughs> of the Republic. Uh. We have to find out what they uncovered. Mm. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Star Forge. You're very interesting to listen to. Depending on us. Oh wait, I lied. Can't talk to you more. You seem fun. You are neither builder nor slave. You seek the secrets of the Star Forge. You must prove yourself worthy. Only then will the sealed door behind me open. Okay, I'm gonna ask you some questions. I am here to aid those who seek knowledge of the builders. What do you wish to know? Uh, what do you know about the builders? The builders are the greatest mass. Yeah, I already heard that. Okay. Well, you're useless to me. Let's see what's through. No, wait, wait, wait. Nemo's remains. Sweet. Jedi Knight robe. Here you go, Bastila. It's probably better. Yes. Yes, it is. So, Jedi robe. Members of the Jedi Order typically wear plain or unassuming garments. Jedi Knight robe. Members of the Order typically wear, yeah, all that. But the var this variant offers the additional protection needed by a Jedi influencing important events. Okay. So other Jedi aren't influencing shit? Rude. Ah, uh, yeah, no, you're going to need that just as much as I will. Okay, so this could end very badly. I've I've died in this area before. Because these robots are not easy. Die! Why? Why am I not jumping? Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, T3, buddy old pal. <laughs> Friend of mine, I need you to not do that. I need you to do this. Twice, just in case. Bastila, uh, what do you got? You got force push... Throw lightsaber, that's, that's all you got. Fuck. Alright, use flurry. Me! Uh, try not getting lit on fire. What can I do? Ooh, 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 I'm dumb. I am so dumb. You have frickin' things. Force Valor, go! Is that shield down? What can I do? Yes, it is. Okay, T3, you don't need to do it twice. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, just, just start shooting them like crazy. Yeah. Just, just be crazy about it, you know? Oh, I don't think he likes that. Why is your health not going down? You're making noises as if you're taking damage, but I'm not seeing any damage. Oh, I'm taking damage. What is this? What is this? What? What is? What is happening right now? 
Um. Can, okay, let's let's try this. What is going on? Oh, hey, he took damage. Okay. I don't know what that was about, but I didn't enjoy it. Uh, just use a regular repair kit, and why not use an energy shield, too? You. Uh, burst of speed. Let's, let's get you faster. Okay. Want more hits. Yeah, let's heal again. There we go. Good job. Alright, we're doing damage now. I just said we're doing damage. You want to, like, not call me a liar here, please? Bastila. Bastila, honey, what are you doing? Oh, you're, you're glitching. Got it. Cool. Let's fix that. Um... Hit him, please. Disengage. Hit him. Okay, let's let's try this again. It's just clean slate. Um, fuck that door. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that robot, but hey, maybe this one will be better. Lunch. So far, so good. I don't like that you have a shield already. That's uh, it's not nice. Disrupt that shield. You do something. <laughs> it's really all I ask is that you actually do something this time. All right, am I, is he taking damage? Yes, he is taking damage. That's that's good. Um, Basil, I'm pretty sure I told you to do two things. You did one of them. Let's try that again now, darling. Yeah. Come on. There you go. Team players. Be a team player. I need to start hitting him. Why am I not hitting him? Why is he hitting me and I'm not hitting him? Why does it appear... Oh, oh, I don't like you. I don't like you one bit. <sighs> this is not nice. Let's uh, let's do this a bit different, shall we? Alright, what? Why? Do you, do you, where'd my lightsaber go? There we go. Let's see if this makes anything better. Uh, so far? Oh. Okay. Let's try force and shield. Let's get you some shielding. Fantastic. Uh, force. But what? I, I already know how to use force powers. Yeah. Alright. Well, that was a waste of time. Here. <sighs> Do I have... I have stun ray. Battle. Does, does Sun work on droids? You know what? Fuck it. Let's find out. Uh, droid Stunray. Okay, well, first off, let's get rid of that. Now let's try the Stunray. What? Oh, he seems to be taking damage. That's good to hear. The Stunray seems to have failed. Ah, he is immune to stun. We know that now. So far... Okay. Oh, fantastic. That's what I get for trying to move. Uh, hey, fuck you. That's great. Have a grenade. You know what? Have, have another grenade. Just, just, just go fuck yourself. How's that sound? Sounds like a plan? I think it sounds like a fantastic idea. Why are you not taking damage from anything? This doesn't make sense. At least Bastila is actually attacking this time. Great. You gonna, you gonna shoot him? Please, start. Those bullets are hitting him. He's not doing anything. Why are they not doing anything? Where are my damage? Let's make this quick. Oh, his health went down. Okay, well, let's just go back to the lightsaber. Oh, yeah, no, the lightsaber does more damage. Let's hit him. Try this again. Do that. You. Uh, fuck off. Do, do we have mini ones? We have mini ones. You have. What is her? Treat injury. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Use a little one. You're also going to use a little one. Like, you're both fucking fine. Oh, well. Okay, good. You said 
This is pathetic. I just want you guys to realize how pathetic this is. Have I stopped doing damage again? Oh! It, went, it moved. This is madness. Absolute fucking madness. But, I can confirm this one's actually taking damage. The other one, I don't think he was. And Basilisk stopped doing anything. Not a good time. Let's make this oh, move. shit. Uh, Basila, I need you to not be dying. Sound like a plan? I think it sounds like a fantastic idea. Yeah. Come on. Use the... There we go. That's what I like to see. Start hitting him again. Okay, take that force. Do better! I'm at a little more. Okay. Not going well. Uh, you. He's immune to that. Just start lobbing fucking grenades. I stopped caring. Use this. Hey, use that too. Why not? What's oh, the worst that could happen, right? Flurry. Ah, there it is. I was about to ask where the, where the grenade is. Hey, let's just drop one at my feet. How's that sound? That oh, sounds fucking fantastic. Mmm, that hurts. Let's do another one. What's the worst that can happen? I have to restart this fight? Oh no. That'll only take an hour. Hey, I got more grenades. I do more health packs, too. Hey, grenade time. Fantastic. Die. Yeah. Oh, thank Jeebus. And I leveled up. That's fantastic. Skills. I guess that one didn't... This is so bad. Yes, I know. Any more damn skill points. Alright, did I, I didn't take anything in dueling yet. Oh, I could do that. Do I want to make my lightsabers more effective? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I kind of want to stick with rifles. But honestly, they're not doing as well as I thought they would. I, I thought I could, uh, I could do it. <sighs> yeah, let's do it. Let's take the dueling. Fuck, I want that. What else can we do? Where's Stun Droid? There it is. Not restricted by armor, I'll take it. Perfect. Okay, can I loot you? No. Looks like I can loot you. Why did I not regain my force powers with that? Yes. Fine, fastly use this. Sure. Good enough. Ancient terminal. The ancient computer hums and throbs. As you approach it, its screen flickers to life and a stream of incom incomprehensible characters scroll past. Uh, kick computer. Computer to skill. Attempt to slice the ancient ancient system. Failure. Given no knowledge of the ancient system and a, pat a patent inability to read its input, your attempt is doomed. Fair enough. All right, press a button. A new sequence of equally incomprehensible characters appears on the screen. Press many buttons. Talk to the computer. The computer goes silent, and its screens its screen blank. A few extremely unusual characters then appear on the screen. Oh. The computer emits a rapid sequence of tones. You hear one of these tones softly echoed by your data pad. So the machine was just like, hey, hey what? He hello? And my data pad was like, yeah? A small data receptacle opens in the front of the agent machine. So it was actually like, get in me. And my data pad was like, yeah. All right, well, I guess I'll just start computer sex. The computer seems to be interfacing with your data pad. The screen goes blank again, and then one familiar and then more familiar characters begin to appear on the screen. Okay, Harish Kaf Javashi Unmi Sohit Itsu Kaf. What? Uh, press a button. Retrieve my data pad. The data pad seems to be locked in. It does not pod budge. It's really enjoying the, the sex. Talk to the computer again. The computer goes silent again, humming softly. It seems to be processing data from your data pad. Your data pad is released from the receptacle and the machine goes silent for a moment before flickering to life again. Data interpretation complete. Language analysis complete. Continue. 
Interrogative. Identify the pre my three primary death-giving seed world types. Alright, so we got oceanic, grassland, desert. Yep. Volcanic. And a uh, barren. So, oceanic. Water. Not not sort of death-giving, but water also means life. Grassland. Life. Aboral. Uh, arboral. Endor. Endor Kashyyyk. So, not death-giving. Barren. Planetary type conductive to death breaking, uh, death breaking death seal. Okay, cool. I guess that's that. What the fuck? Fine, fine. If you get it wrong, I believe another robot like activates. So that means that's yeah. So that means I believe half of this door is now unlocked. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to get a cutscene, but we didn't. I don't know why. Whatever. Hi, bitch. What's up? Oh man, really? With the with the not huzzahing again? What if I go over here and try it? Huzzah! Well, you know what? Fuck yourself, I guess. Here. Let's go over here. Let's try Stunder. Hey! Save, but it's shielded on. I like that. Let's try again! Not immune! Stop that! Fuck you! Get stunned, bitch! Hey, I said. What are what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop. Give me that. You, you, you get that revoked now. What? Save. No more save. I'm going to use up all my fucking force. What I'm going to do. Huzzah. It's taking damage each time I do this, too. Not a lot, but it is taking damage. <sighs> Settle in, everybody. It's time for another hour-long fight. I'm here. Are you just, like... I'm gonna save your energy from the computer. Sure. Because we're gonna need it! Hey, let's let's blow everybody up! Oh. <laughs> and we do it again. Cool. You use that. And then that. Fantastic. Do it again. Because my health is much lower than I'd like. Fantastic. Can this thing... Fucking die. It's almost at half health. Oh, oh, that sounded good. And again. Come on. Oh, are you out of force now? Great. Great! I got lit on fire so much my brain started to hurt. That's great. Ah, <sighs> Basilic. Can, can you hit it more, please? No? T3B. Why am I not attacking? Why am I disengaged? Oh my god. I sat there for so long staring at myself, just doing nothing. I'm getting mad at Bastila for not killing it, but I wasn't doing anything. I was literally just standing there. I didn't save before coming in here, so if I, um, if I die, I have to redo the first fight. Oh dear god, no. Oh dear god, no. I'm about to die. Hey, you know what? Let's just throw in one of these. Let's throw in a bunch of these. Just do that until you die. Where are my damage numbers? Show when I take damage. Is it, it shows when I miss. Okay, seriously, what, what, the, what the fuck? All right, mini map. That's fine. Floating numbers. It's up, they're on. They're on. Oh wait, that doesn't. 
What? Oops, whatever. Ah, there it is. That took longer than expected. Bastard, you wanna like do well, apparently not. Oh you, T3, how are you doing here? Do I have a better gun you can use? Nope. No, I do not. Great! I don't think there's literally anything I can do to help you with this. But when the time comes, you can put a shield on, and you can repair, so... Honestly, T3, you're probably going to be the one to get the kill here. Whenever that becomes a, a thing that needs to happen, T3's got this. Hey, what is, uh, what is his stats? Oh, good, there's no, no increases or decreases. Fun-tacular. Can you die? Guardian robot, like, I'm, I'm laying on the ground over here. Fast. Did his health just jump up? Okay, things seem to be going better, which is great, but they're about to go real bad. Right about there. There it is. Turn that on, please. Oh, you're in mid-attack? Sure. Shield up. Fantastic. Alright, so we're going to start with some basic ones. Once it gets to half health, I'm going to use a repair kit. Hey, T3, are you going to be doing damage? I don't know if you are. Are these things immune to blaster damage? Is that a thing? Because it doesn't look like they're taking blaster damage. Let's, let's try. Let's try backing up. Maybe that'll help. I'd use this, but it doesn't do anything. There's no shield, so just. I lied. I completely lied. Oh my god. It didn't do anything the other time I tried to do it. I'm... Wreckage. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. We got things. For T3, the fucking man of the hour here. Most essential close to awareness. Your demolitions are worse, aren't they? What's your awareness at? Yeah. Yeah. Technically speaking, his demolitions are still worse. Um... That's just, that's worse as well. What else did you, oh, you got a, a level one shield. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. Age computer hums and throbs. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna stick, what the fuck? Where's the, fine. Talk to the computer. Yep. Insert data bed. Jam it in there real rough like. Talk to the computer again. Cool, that's great. Okay, so identify the three primary life-giving seed worlds. Oceanic, grassland, arboreal. Perfect. If you fail that, that little shit over here gets back up. You gotta fight him again. And you gotta keep doing it till you get it right. But once you get it right, fucking doors unlocked. And ugh. Oh, I'm suddenly very afraid that there's another combat test. I have legitimately no reason to think this. But I'm still suddenly not really sure if I remember this correctly or not. Yeah, we're just going to limp over here slowly because we're dying. Also, if you'll notice, Best is wearing nice blue robes, which we got off of Nemo, who was wearing very white robes. So what the fuck? That's all. The hell is this thing? Yeah. The hell is this thing? That's a, that's a little orb. This, this must be what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey... They found the map to Treasure Planet? Uh, I don't get it. Is this a Star Forge? This is a, a map. Some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. All right. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Star Forge. Clever. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Star Forge ourselves. But we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. 
logically. Alright, I still don't understand about this fire storage. What does it do? Start for the fire storage. Fire storage. That's what it is. Storage facility. Facility. <laughs> Whew. I'm doing great. What does it do? I don't know, but Revan and Malak were very interested in finding it. What do you know, Basla? Sometime. Mm. Or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the council can tell us more. But I think this I doubt it. might be the key to I finding highly the doubt it. Forge, whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban. A oh, great. World. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek and Tashin and his uh, Manan. But there are pieces uh, missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating. Oh, yes, yeah, so we have to go to those planets you just named off, and they're going to get the, the full data. Perhaps those worlds have more clues. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may uh, have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Star Forge. In some way to destroy it. We must perhaps. inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action. Though I suspect our task has only just begun. You are correct. Hey, Bastila. Let's get you leveled up. Skills. Yep. And I guess, yeah, because you're, you're useless. You're so useless. This is your only use. And you're not even good at it. Sorry, I am calm. T3, you're a fucking champ, man. You are the best. Holding on to that. It's, it's cool. Except the best. Sorry. Uh, we already checked that. It was useless. Okay. Sure. Sure. Can I just... I can't. I gotta walk out the door. Do, 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 do. I wonder if there's anything going to happen, or if I just head back to the council, right? I just... It... It... Okay, I guess I don't do anything. You got anything new to say? You have proven yourself worthy. The sealed door is open. If you wish to learn the secrets of the Star Forge, you must pass through the door to the room beyond. Okay. Helpful. I shall remain here. Yeah, you do that, buddy. Is that the exit? Where the fuck's the exit? It would help if everything didn't look the exact... God damn same. Some of these uh, ruins on the other worlds get worse for sameness. Especially Corbon. Corbon. Alright, return to the Evanhawk. Should give me full health, at least. And it's much faster than... Uh, uh, speak to Bastila. How can I help? I don't know. You look like something's bothering you. No, not bothering you. Bullshit. Exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. I don't want to stick it in you. Us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. <laughs> I think you're interested in more than just the bond between us. <laughs> you want some of my... No. Uh, doesn't the bond mean my presence is necessary? I don't believe in this bond regardless of what the Jedi said. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think you're interested in more than just the bond between us. Please. I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions are well, they're beneath me, quite frankly. I admit, I find you intriguing. I, I mean, I find your command of the Force intriguing, but my interest in you is purely academic. Sure. I can understand why. Our fates oh. are strongly connected. So connected that a little you are a bond terrible is liar. between us. Mm. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, <laughs> but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. <laughs> Alright. Um, our relationship? Is that some sort of clumsy come on? I was referring to the bond we share. The one Me that the council spoke of. I don't, I don't really interested know. interested in you. Rest assured, I could come up with a much better approach than this. <laughs> Bullshit. Ooh, I guess I touched a nerve there, huh? Touched a nerve? No. Getting on my nerves, most definitely. Oh, we're already married. I suppose this is what you men consider being witty. Mm, Are you going to answer my questions, or would you rather just keep annoying me? I don't know. Oh, okay. I'll answer a few questions. <laughs> the second one. Answer the questions. Don't worry. These are simple questions. Okay. Nothing too intrusive. First, I'm sure I have answers. What background do you have? I'm a scout. I'm a hut in human form, plotting to overthrow the Republic. I was a scout. The fleet recruited me for my skills. Good. I which planet were you born? Uh, I'm a Wookiee. 
I mean, close. Um, Dorelia? It's in a remote system. Black. Excellent. The current age is? 73. 3,012. Wasn't this all my service records? Yes. Well, the truth is, I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. I see. And what did you find out? You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. Oh. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. I see. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably mm. a lot for you to absorb. We can mm. speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. Okay. <sighs> now I'm going to go talk to the council. Oh yeah, we got a crystal from Nemo as well. You know what? Fuck off, you stupid wall. Let's go see what that crystal does. Then we'll go talk to the council. Because honestly, I'm not really... Is it that one the one that... Yeah, that's what... Sigil! Attack bonus and increased energy damage. Additional energy damage on 1d6. This is not... Yeah, we're going We're going Sigil. So now I do 423 damage. I have a plus 2 to hit. I like it. And you you can have the chance to stun. How does that sound? There you go, Basil. Make it... Uh, make it count. Yeah. Ah, ah. have returned, young Padawan. I'm not really. Have you yeah, discovered sure. what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? A big penis robot. Couldn't find him. Found an incomplete star map and a mention of something called a star forge. This news of a star forge is disturbing. Didn't really notice. Action oh no, we found out about fire, it from the robot. Yeah. But we must not do so in haste. The we far must discuss storage. recent events in light of this new information. We oh, should okay. consult the Jedi archives to see if there's any mention of the star <laughs> forge. Yeah, because Revan and Malak wouldn't have removed that. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Okay. Padawan, mm. you have done well in discovering Did I go the anywhere? star map hidden okay. within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and Obviously. the Sith. We Jedi, no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. Mm. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. Is it I've the consulted Forge? our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Hmm. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. I mean, found. It's, it's already been found. Oh, you mean by us? We have to... Okay. Tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool hmm. on the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets. Well, actually, there was a fuck ton of planets on there, but okay. It did not show the location the of the star forge everywhere. itself. I didn't see anything marking we specific planets, but similar star maps Ooh. on other planets. Each mm. star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashik, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban, mm. and we believe they will lead you to the star forge. Sounds like a suicide mission to me. I mean. Sorry, right. uh, I'm ready to do the council's will. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, mm. by defections to Malak's cause, mm. and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. As you Yet should. if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Uh, is that the excuse for why I'm going to just take this band of misfits? All right, good others will only slow me down. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. Okay. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Master I got a Wookiee. will accompany you. Fuck. For there is a powerful connection between you two. Yeah. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries of yeah. uh, the She and wants the D. Has also asked to accompany you. Uh, what? After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Jahani nearly fell to the dark side. She Perhaps probably also wants the D. Will serve as a reminder to you. But as a cat a lady, I don't think we can uh, interbreed. Um, there are others I want to join me. Sure, Bastel and the Catwoman. Any else you want to stick with? There are others I want to join of me. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. If they want, they possess skills you may find useful in your quest. No kidding, especially the little Remember robot. Secrecy, Best friend. Discretion. Are paramount to your success. Uh -huh. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. What? But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. Uh -huh. You may return here at any time. Uh -huh. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, uh -huh. a safe haven. Hmm. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. 
I see. All right, you can kind of be able enough, yeah. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner, the better. That's not what the I... The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But mm. first, a warning, young Padawan. The yeah. lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. I fear the whole galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. What do you mean an all too familiar path? We pray you are up to the I mean, channel. sure, Jahani went down to the dark side. Are you just saying it's all too familiar because lots of. You know what? I don't care. You're. Frook, you're a dick. That's, that's all I have to say about that. Alright. Just a moment. I'm gonna find out where the rest of those fuck actually I'm gonna save so I don't have to fight those fucking robots anymore. Fuck that shit. Done. Um, I'm gonna find out where the rest of those Mandalorians are. Alright. Step one, I gotta go outside. I gotta go talk to John again. As far as I know, I did take on all three Mandalorian bands already. There's only three out in the wild, and then you gotta take on the leader. Uh, before we do that, we gotta go talk to John. Which I could just I swear we've seen I swear I swear I've fought the leader before talking to John, but apparently this is the the way to do it. So, howdy, John. It's been a while. Uh, last time you were bitch about Have you being coward. Raider? Yes, I killed someone in the plane. Good, good. Put them down like the animals they are. But now that you've killed some of them, they won't stop until you've defeated their leader. You must find him and kill him too. All right, I'll come back if I find their leader. Thank you, young Jedi. All right, so there we go up this way. To the left, I think they said. So not over here. If they said up and to the left, so I'm assuming. Hey, hey look, it's horny. Sorry, buddy. Uh, you're gonna die this time. Oh, <laughs> no, this is the one we killed last time. Just respawn. I'm stronger now. Stronger than you can possibly have. The force imagine. fights with me. Yeah, your your force. Not as much as we like. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So is he up this way? I'm assuming that means I want to take this exit. Is what they're telling me. Later, bro. I'm going this way. So, which so basically each one has two entrances straight through. Um, so if we look at the map here. See, because there's this side and there's this side, we just go straight down. Same thing on every single section of Nantuin, doesn't matter which side you go into. Um, it'll still just go straight on through. Why do they send me straight through? Stupid walkthrough. Stupid, stupid walkthrough. That's a backpack. Why is there a backpack here? Why are there being a backpack here? Is Horny coming after us? No, he's just standing over there. Right here. Hey! Good job, Basila. Fantastic. Did... He did. But what did you do? Something frozen in place. Excellent. Alright, what's in this backpack? Remains. Whose remains? What? What is this? That's pretty okay armor. That's really neat. Chani shield, those are good. Cardio package, nah. This is the diary of Cassius Sandril, amateur arche archaeologist. It details his efforts to discover the source of the ancient runes found across the surface of Dantooine. Upon reading it, you gather that he had found some correlation between the ruins and something called the rack. What the fuck is a rack? Also, holy shit! This proves that the the metal Mattel's uh, Sandrils and the yeah Mattel didn't steal kidnap Sandrils some, which is super neat. Are the, hi, friend. I didn't realize I was gonna be making friends with you today, but uh, here we are. Where the hell are your leader? Ah. Okay. I walk through lied to me. Or I just didn't read it, which is definitely the most li more likely option here. I wonder if I can actually... Oh, there it is. There they are. I think I found the leader. So let's kill these fucks first. Perfect. And safe, because Mandalorians are a pain. I think this one actually talks to us first, too. And I'm sorry, T3. I love you. I really do. 
Oh, well, fuck it. Let's, let's just go full Jedi on this one. I didn't add her to my team. <laughs> I knew that all the time. Johnny, what do you got? Well, uh, hey, have a plus junior reflex. That's just better. Have it. Uh, you know what? You, you need some more will. Do you have anything? Yeah, you have something. Uh, nothing. Johnny shield. Perfect. Point on. Can't wear implants. What do you what do you have feats for? Actually, let's just find out right this. Uh, what are you? Probably should have found out her class before I just started sticking points in. Oh, she's the same as me. Okay. You're not set up for anything. Hmm. So I can make you whatever I want. Basil is currently going double ended. I am currently using dueling. I want to make her a dual wielder. She has two lightsabers, which I don't have a second lightsaber to do, but, uh, that's not important right now, you know, it's just, <laughs> it's just good to, you know, try, and, uh, just do it, holy shit, another, another one, why, why do you have no strength, what is this, I mean, I don't have any fucking strength right now either, but that's not the fucking point. Damn it. Ate it. Take that. Good. What else you got? Cool. Oh, God damn it. Uh, awareness? No, we're going to treat injury. All the way. Fram. 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 Get better with lightsabers. Powers. I don't know. Let's go super speed. Let's make it fast. Speedy. Like that. And I don't know. Oh, God, you have no classic. Why do you have points in stealth? Why do you... Why... Why do you only have two class skills? Oh my god. Oh no. No, it's the same same ones as Basila. And it's the stupidest thing in the world. Oh god. I hate the Jedi classes. So much. And the Force powers, in my opinion, aren't really worth it. Just, uh, just throw that out there. Do I have... I do. Oh, it's because I put that up. Alright, did I save? I didn't save. I'm going to save. I did save. I didn't save after I switched to Jihadi, though. Gotta have everything set as we go. And, uh... Ah, good. They are going to chat with me first. Howdy, friendo. Hey, a backpack. So this is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. I mean, there's three I of us right now. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take ah. yet another lightsaber for my own. Oh, you now have lightsabers. I can give one to Jahai. The Mandalorians are feared. I mean, I have one. Well, I didn't bring him with me, but uh, I normally travel with a Mandalorian. Your name is Shrook. Do other ones have names? No, just you. Alright, well. Oh. Shield disruptor is helpful. Alright, you. Um. Let's see here. Let's throw you in stasis. Just, honey, what can you. Oh, you can do stun or throw lightsaber, force push. Slow. Let's slow him. And then. No, no, no. Now we slow him. Basila. Good, you're already doing it. Excellent. I'm gonna do that because it's just better. And I don't have any healing items. This was not a good plan. I did, I did not have any... Hey! Maybe I'm fine. You guys are dying much better than I thought they were. Much better than you. Hey, can you just like, go away? Clear out minions nice and quick. Fantastic. Now you. Okay. I'm cool with this. I'm gonna do some healing. Uh, oh, Basil is dead. Cool. Jahani. Uh, wow. Do it up. You, you got this, girl. Fantastic. Jahani? Officially like you more than Master. Which, honestly, Master probably did most of that. You know what? We're not going to look at the other person in the mouse. He's dead. Ooh, he's got multiple lightsabers. What the hell is a sonic nullifier? You know, we'll look at that in a second. More mains. Battle stimulant. Oh, that would have been helpful. Got this one. Okay, I did already. No. Give me that. Alright, I'm gonna use up oh I'm already up. What can I do? You can heal. All of us. For in, until you're out of force. Keep going. Your health's not full yet. Very good. Alright, so what are these? Uh we've got two lightsabers, obviously. Sonic nullifier. Resist Sonic I don't care. Uh ooh, plus three to four or two plus three. 
That's a good bell. Yeah, here, here you go. Use that. You! They're both the same? Here you go. I have the red one. Oh, no. You should have matching colors. Just makes sense. Oh, you can't use those because you can't use armor. Do I want to use either of these? Awareness plus four. Will save plus two. I'd honestly just improve my will. So, um... Actually, since I've actually never found, um... Cass's body before. Like, that's completely new to me. Let's go over here to Sandril, and uh, let's see if he'll let us in so we can uh, give him his his son's data pad. Because I, I don't know if he will. This is honestly just brand new information to me, so it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Ah! Ignore me. Ignore me! If I hear lightsabering. So far, so good. Maybe. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I'm not going to sneak in through that door because I don't need to. I'm going to talk to the robot at the front. All right, let's see if we can find the dad if we sneak in through this door. Do I still have a key? Nope. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Get out of my way, girls. Ladies, ladies, please. Move. All right, we're going to go over here. Front door? Fine. Fine. I am gonna go talk to the sister though, since I'm already faster than over here. Ah no. Johanny seems tense and wary in your presence. Perhaps you could make her feel more welcome by talking to her. Sure. How may I be of assistance to you. I have no um, fucking idea. I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? I don't know. What do you got? How did you become a Jedi? How I came to be a Jedi? Yeah. I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Probably not. Are you sure you would Apparently. Like Please continue. It goes back a number of years. Back okay. on my home world. We did not see Jedi very often. Mm. Especially where I lived. I see. Okay. Uh, what is the Cathar homeworld like? It was not the homeworld of the Cathar Oh. Homeworld. My parents had long fled from that place. Oh, yeah. Uh, perhaps that is a story for another time. Rather, it was a human hive world that I was raised on. The hind end of space. A pit of a world, to be sure. Once I could guess what planet she was on? Tread, but we had harbored them. Well, everyone had. So that is not to be unexpected. Sure. Champions of truth. Mm -hmm. Defenders of justice. It's not Tatooine. Um, I don't want to spoil it because I think she says it in this one. If she doesn't, I'll say it. Enthralled by their image, mm -hmm. their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. Mm. Then how did you gain entrance to the Order? When I saw a Jedi for the first time, hmm. they lived up to everything my imagination had created them. That doesn't usually happen. That's such a pretty cool. I was old. Maybe and she old. got everything she expected. No more hype. Um, the imagination could be a dangerous thing. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi. To lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi war. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child. But this child made it happen. As well, soon good. as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came. Hulk I ruined everything. Perhaps but wait, no, I helped. I fixed what you did wrong. Or well, not uh. completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Mm. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come. Perhaps. There is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. Alright. Um, as far as I know, the planet she grew up on was Taurus, which, uh, hey, she's not, I think she's actually just, uh, Padawan, a word of it. There are many rumors about your most recent meeting with the Jedi Council. There is talk that you're sending you on a mission to help us against Malak and the Sith. Uh, how do you know the Council gave me a mission? I saw you coming to the Council chambers, you were there for some time, I naturally assume the Council is giving you a task to perform. Please, understand that I'm not asking you to reveal anything that could engage the Order of the Republic. Uh, whatever task the Council is giving you is for your ears, not mine. I only wanted to wish you well, and to warn you to be careful. There are many evils out there, many dangers. The Sith are not the only minions of the Dark Side. 
Um, what are you talking about? Master Dorok has been training me to succeed him as the Chronicle here in the Academy. In my studies, I've come across tales of creatures that are born of the dark side, monsters of pure evil. The worst of these abominations is the Tyrannatek. Tarantatek, a beast that feeds in the blood of those who are strong in the Force. Over the centuries, many Jedi have fallen to their ravenous hunger. Yeah, we get to fight multiple. What makes a creature dangerous? The Tarantatek is a predator. We Jedi are its prey. They are incredibly strong with the primal cunning, and they have inborn resistance to the Force. For there are some who believe that Tarantatuk is a monster bred by the ancient Sith and spread throughout the Gah. Fortunately, the Tarantatuk is quite rare. They only dwell in the most dangerous and darkest of places. In fact, one has not been seen in nearly 40 years. Alright, then why would I be... Why are you worried about them now? This is not the first time the Tarantatuk has vanished for long periods of time. Many believe they lay dormant for years, only to rise in a hunt when the power of the dark side waxes full. I fear Malak's rise may, be, may have woken these creatures from their dormant state. Once the Sith are beaten, it would not be surprised if the Council organized another great hunt to try and exterminate them. I'm sorry, Great Hunt? Was that? The Great Hunt was organized by the Jedi Council shortly after the war against Exar Kun. Jedi were scattered throughout the galaxy, helping to rebuild from the devastation. Many Jedi vanished during this period, disappearing from a variety of worlds without warning. We did not know they had been slain until the mutilated bodies began to be discovered. Mm. The Council investigated and discovered the Turin Tech were behind the killings. It was decided the galaxy had to be purged of these insatiable monsters, though the cost proved high. Cost? What cost? Many Jedi banded together and journeyed to the planets they were suspected of harboring the Tarantuk. The Great Hunt did not rest until the creatures had been slain, or almost all. There are still rumors of Tarantuk on the planet of Korriban, a dark world, some believe to be the birthplace of the Sith, sort of. That is where Exar Kun was corrupted during the First Sith War. They never went to Korriban. The Council, fearing more Jedi might fall to the dark side, declared the Great Hunt was officially over, though three Jedi were disappointed to continue the work. Um, what was so special about those three? The Jedi chosen to continue the hunt on their own were Duran Keldroma, Gun Han Suresh, and Shela Nur. These three shared a powerful bond, and each of them was devoted to the light. The Council felt that together they'd be able to defeat any Tarantuk they found, and by supporting each other, they could resist the temptations of the Korriban and lure of the dark side. But none of the three survived. Their master felt them become one with the Force when they left this world. He believed they were slain by one of the monsters they sought. The Council felt it was too dangerous to send anyone else to search for the remains, so their exact fate is not un not known. But let their death serve as a warning to you, Padawan. Okay... Uh, thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. A final warning as you go, Padawan. Do not underestimate the Tarantek. If you do, you may suffer the same fate as those who disappeared after the Great Hunt. Alright, we're gonna find all three of those people. Not alive. They're, we find their bodies. But we do find all three of them. We also find out um, why they disappeared. And we get some memoirs and stuff. It's really, it's a really quite an interesting story. Uh, I usually, I used to skip through that talk with him. So uh, I didn't realize he sends us out. Where am I going? That he tells us about them before we even run into them. I always just found them first. <clears throat> I need to go talk to the Romeo and Juliet of Dantooine. Where are you? Sola? No. Empty room? Yeah. And Rochelle. I'm sorry we have Rocha. nothing of value to That's you. fine. Um, so, anybody plays? We're waiting before the ceremony. Uh-huh. That's fantastic. So I can't, like... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, any kids on the way Not yet? yet my friend. Wow. You guys just don't care. Cool. I'm just glad I could help you. Fun. Alright. So I guess I just have his remains now? Or I have his uh, his final journal now. Uh, maybe that's a thing I could have found before I went there, and like I could have had it, so he could have been like, "Oh, oh my God, I've been blaming you all this time, and it was just the cat hounds. It was the cat lady who did it. It's her fault." All right, John, if you're over here, I mean, we need to have a chat. John, I uh, I killed them all. All of the men. And the women. Now the that children. Mandalorians know what it's like to be hunted, but now that you've killed some of them, they... uh, I fought and killed their leader. Thank you, young master. Hmm. My daughter can now. 
I think. Rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. There's reward. Oh, thank you. Again, I thank you. I will be sure to tell the council of your great deed. Fantastic. A thousand credits. That's useful. All right. So before I end this episode, let's. God, what the fuck am I doing? Let's do this the fast way. We're gonna get back in the Ebonhawk. I'm gonna have chats with everybody. See what we can get out of my way, little robot bastard. Have chats with everyone. See what we can uh, push forward. Do some more uh, equipment min-maxing stuffs. Hey there. What can I, I don't know. I want to talk to don't my brother. Worry. Okay. Nope. Nothing new with okay. you. So we don't care. Candace probably has something new though, doesn't he? Don't you, Candace? Yeah. What do you? Want? I was wondering if you had any more war stories. You want another war story, huh? Yes. You want to hear about some other world getting wasted? Sure. I knew you were the type. No, you didn't. Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. Oh, just blatantly laughing off genocide. Cool. Um, where'd you fight this time? We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. Okay. Her main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells, and the pirates were using them for cover. Ha! <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. I don't know how fast that is, but that sounds the fast. The smugglers using it for cover, Ooh. but that was a mistake. Uh, why? What happened? The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most, maybe a dozen meters on the side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other, just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something yeah. must have been inside it, something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something, the or thing woken that ate, something. Uh, after I hit, Falcon, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What Terrifying. lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock, pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. Uh, what happened next? It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire. Thermal projectiles that melted our armor like that wax. Awful. We were How are you alive? By surprise. No Before kidding. we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. Oh, a ship? We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we oh. abandoned our efforts. Anything so that wants to commit suicide galaxy. in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. Uh, that's the um, only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something oh, else you will. want to know? Ah, uh, no, that's that's good. You're Nothing more for now. Fantastic. Good talking to you, buddy. You know what? I'm just going to use the workbench now so I don't have to come back to it. All right, so mine. All good. All good. Johnny! Damn it. Did I actually... Well, obviously, I used all of them. Okay. I guess that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, so since I've decided I'm not using this anymore, I'm gonna do that. I don't know why I even upgraded that. I'm not using it anytime soon. Bap, 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 bap. And bap, bap. <coughs> oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Melee weapons. Thank you. Pretty sure these are both just done, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Armor. Johnny Fiber. We don't have anything new. Fine. Who's this? A, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not equipped on me. I know that much. And there's Zalbar swinging around his knives. Uh, nobody over there. Oops. Nope. Johnny's not there. T3. Anything new? You don't talk much, do you? Uh, 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 okay. Fine. Good talk. Zalbar. Uh, nope. Nothing new there. Very well, yeah, okay. <sighs> Johanny. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before in the grove. Oh, we've dealt with that. With me. Yeah, it's, it's very good. You thought the dark side had consumed you, it was nothing. I am sorry for attacking you. Yeah. I am sorry for nice. the way you tried to kill me. I too. hope that by helping you in your them. task, I may redeem myself in your eyes. You already got... And in my own. 
I, oh, well, your eyes, good luck. Don't worry, I, I forgive you. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, even though I try to take your life. Eh. I can only hope that I in our time journeying together, don't, I will Don't hold it against you. Lots of people have. How may I be a Is there anything else? I was wondering if we could talk. Visit you would like I don't know. Are you doing all right? I, I, I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. Why? What is wrong? I have been thinking about myself, about Quatra, and about my fall to the dark side. I see. I keep thinking that it was my anger that drove me that far, mm. that nearly damned me. I look inside myself now, and I can still see it. I still feel it. Uh, everyone has anger. If the tank cannot be moved, are you sure you should be here? Perhaps you just need more time. More time would do me good. Time to distance myself from that anger. I think Everyone that has anger. You just got to know how to control it. to send me with you. They think, perhaps, that in your company, I will be able to free myself from it. I doubt that's what they're thinking. Um, I can't afford to look after you. If I see you begin to slip back, I will intervene. I thank you for your concern and your acceptance. Gotta be a good person. I that I am worthy of your company and trust. All right, cool. Anything more to I talk about with you? Oh, my God. What we actually... is it you would... Okay, good. There's nothing more. Sometimes you can go through like three or four of those conversations just uh, sitting there. Is there anybody in here? Nope. Okay, so it's just Bastila and Karth left. Bastila! I don't know. Let's talk about that dream. It was less of a dream and more of a vision. Mm. A vision the two of us shared. I just don't understand, understand how you knew that. Any questions the Jedi Council Like, know. honestly. Uh, ba 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 ba. I'm not sure I like the idea of you being in my dreams. Oh. Why do we dream of Malak and Revan? Perhaps because we desired to. Did Perhaps we? Because they came to this planet. I didn't desire that. From the force to leave a, a trace. Mm. Well, I certainly didn't want to dream about that. That would not be my first choice either. Mm. My choice appears to be irrelevant in this matter. You just said we, we chose to. Revan and Malak, either because we were meant to. Or because you chose we to, to, but choice is irrelevant. There is no other way to look at it. All right, uh, what do you think Rev and Malk were doing? I have no idea. It was obviously important, however. That is why we must investigate this further. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure I like the idea of you being in my dreams. And are you so certain that it is not you in my dreams? Oh. Pretty certain, yes. I see. That is most likely vanity speaking, for I am not certain myself. Regardless, our fates are linked. The vision was no doubt meant for us both. Ah, great. All right. Um, do you think we'll receive more of these visions? With luck, we will. Oh, oh great! Well, we not rely on luck. such visions to guide us, but when we have so little else to go oh. on, and the galaxy hangs in the balance. Okay. Um, so I understand why we shared this vision. Are you wondering why we shared the vision, or why we even received it in the first place? Both. To the first, I can only repeat the answer that the council gave us: our fates are linked. And for two as strong as we are in the Force, that amounts to a near-physical bond. As mm. to the second, I truly don't have an answer for you. Mm. The Force works as it will, and perhaps we should be grateful for what we've been given. Should we? But how did our fates become linked? I, I don't know. Believe me, I certainly don't find the prospect of being joined to you enjoyable in any fashion. Lies. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. Please, forgive me. I did not mean to imply that you were repulsive in any sense of the word. That we shared something so personal is just not something I'm used to. I have another question. What would you like to... I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, nothing from the looks of it. You think we'll receive more? Yeah, I think I asked all, ask all these. Alright, never mind. You... Alright, do you have anything else to talk about? Uh, you have something you want to ask me? I do. How did you know? <laughs> Your face is scrunched up like a cane rath bump. They keep staring at me. See anything you like. You are easily the vainest, most arrogant man I have ever met. And Besides, you love it. Series, since I was purposefully not staring in your direction, Ooh. I am a Jedi. Remember, I have far too much discipline you. to because I the on like your butt. Mind, I mean, obvious physical clues. My thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I, I mean, whatever I feel. I mean, whatever I think about you. You're so cute when you're embarrassed. I, that is you. Why must you be so impossibly infuriating? You know very well what I am really talking about. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels. 
and what I feel within you troubles me. It's an erection. You'll get used to it. Considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Bouncing about well. Years before using the force can be considered safe. The fact that you're so strong in the force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences for you and for everyone around you. About you, about well. I think mastering my emotions is necessary. You can warn me when I do something bad. Blink once for dark side, twist. For... <laughs> oh, I want to say it. I, I'm saying it. I don't even care. This is not a joke. It but kind of is. The choices you make could affect both our destinies. Probably. Not to mention the fate of the Republic and the entire galaxy. <laughs> if I kill this guy, is it bad? You exhibited a degree of you blink twice. That means light side, right? I can't remember the rules I said. I really hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. I see. This is doubly important for you. With ah. your natural affinity for the Force. Ah. I need you harassing me. Hey, right, I'll try. It's good to hear. Without the proper training, however, I'm afraid you will find the path difficult, even with the best of intentions. There's great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. Um, it helps us work both ways. You could, uh, you're just worried about yourself. It works both ways, doesn't it? You can help keep me strong. Yes, that is true. I will do my best to guide you. But yeah. But you're no master. Not yet. And there are times when I find the sheer strength of your power almost overwhelming. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you about need you, guidance or advice or support. I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. Aye. Uh, I doubt it'll be, be a risk to the mission. I appreciate any help you can offer. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. Nope. But for now, we should return to our mission. All right. Do you have anything else to have talk about? Help. No? Then Fantastic. Done with Basilisk. Garth. Yes, what's on your mind? I don't know. You've been quiet lately. You know that? I mean, you haven't hung out with him. So, yeah. Uh, quiet lately. Quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. Huh? What, what, what loop? What, what? I don't understand. Left out of the loop, you know, not being told anything strung along. It's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the <sighs> Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. I'm rather curious to know what went on and why they didn't keep you on Dantooine for training. Isn't that I mean, strange? We, we did training. Um, and it, it is very strange. He's not, he's not wrong. It is weird. Um, well, they thought it was more important to help find the star maps than stay. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but mm. why would they keep you with us? Don't they? Don't they have to train you? Yeah, you think? They said there's a bond between Bastila and myself. A bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? <laughs> I have trouble believing that. You're Me a too. fight Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star yep. maps. Why? That's not normal. I am no not kidding. trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. Why would I know the reason? Um, uh, Bastl and I have a bond. We have to do this together. That's all I'm going to say. No, that's all I know. <laughs> uh, are you saying I'm not? Yeah, I guess Bastl and I have a bond that we have to be together. And what does that mean? Is this more of that destiny garbage that the Jedi keep talking yeah, about? Yeah, well, that can't probably. Be well, I'll tell you this much. I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not going to betray you. I am not Saul. Yeah, we'll just see about that one. Look, Ugh. I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul. Not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just seems forget I said anything. Let's let's just get on with what we were doing. Oh, okay. Yes, what's Got anything else to talk about? Okay. Forget well, that is that, I guess. We're going to go ahead and uh, go to the next planet, which is Corbon. We're going to go to Corbon. It's not the next planet I'm going to do. Um, so, like, the next batch of videos is not going to be Corbon. But the first thing I want to do before I do the next planet is in Corbon. So, uh, it'll, it'll make sense. But uh, since this is the last episode of Dantooine, you don't get to know in this one. You get to know in the next one. Uh, let me just wait until the cutscene ends and we land. Make sure I don't get attacked. Because that happens. Everyone's wanting to just get shot for no reason when you're in one of these cutscenes. Is this one of those ones? Am I going to get shot? Doesn't look like it. I think we're good. We're also going to get another cutscene of uh, 
me having a nightmare, a shared vision. Also, whatever this is. It's all. Baron Underbite. Boom! Actual picture, Baron Underbite. Go! Lord Malik, the Star Forge is operating. If there's no picture this time. Capacity, far beyond our I'm going I am to do something. I don't know. I'm going to slap myself in the face, maybe. I meditation. Have you learned how she is <laughs> the destruction of Taris? She okay. was aided by Karth a ah. war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. By you. Do you know this man? Yes. Malik, he served under me when I saw him. He's, he's saw. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? Oh, when God. Was, right. How? How? Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. Neither Basil nor Garth was there when we fought Kalonor, by the way. How does he know any of this? Hard to kill Lord Apparently. Also, they tried to kill him. He's like, I want revenge against these guys, not against you. You were the one destroying the entire planet, but uh, we're cool. I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me. There's something else. May we have a private audience? Because he doesn't know about Jahani, so probably Bastila. I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Kalo. <sighs> I promise you will be very interested in what Kalo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. What, Mission? Zalbar? D3? Candorous, maybe? It might be Candorous. He might be more than he, he seems. He is a Mandalorian, like a decorated war hero Mandalorian, from what we can hear from. Uh, there's a chance that he has more of a history with uh, Malak than we know. Because, I mean... Ah, damn it. Malak hates Mandalorians. Uh, I don't know if that comes up. It doesn't come up in this game. But in the uh, Knights of the Republic comics, Malak has quite the hate on for Mandalorians. And uh, it wouldn't surprise me if that's what they're talking about here. I actually know what they're talking about, but, uh, fuck you guys. Uh, yeah, it's probably Candorous. That would make sense to me. Because, like, who, well, I mean, I don't think Zalbar has, has any history anywhere else. He's just a Wookiee that's on Taurus, and, I mean, unless Griff has got some sort of hate on with, uh, with the Sith, the force is giving mission's us not important. Like the one so we really just lose Candorous, and the robot just got it? bought by me, so... You must huh? have. The Force is strong with us both. There are some uh, who believe Korriban is the birthplace of the Sith. Mm -hmm. This planet is an evil place. There are secrets here best left uncovered. Mm. Alright, it looked like the star map was in some sort of cave. During the vision I felt cold and trapped. Almost as if I was buried alive. Oh, so a tomb. It felt like we were in some kind of tomb. No doubt tomb. things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Alright. Um, yeah, it, it would be safer if you stayed hidden on the ship. Won't the Sith recognize you? Maybe you're right. Most of the Dark Jedi would only mm. know me by name, but there are a few among them who might recognize my face. Mm. For the safety of our mission, I must remain on the Ebon Hawk while we are on this planet. Alright. Sounds good. Uh, so that is going to be the end of this episode. Just right there. I'm going to do a quick save a Rooney. What? Save a Rooney? What the hell am I on? Uh, anyway, so that's the end of Dantooine's section. Um, look forward to the next episode where we do not Korriban. I know it looks like that, but it'll make more sense in the first episode, the, the, the next episode. The next episode. Because I don't want to tell you what actual planet we're going to in this one. Because that would just be telling. I don't do that. So, you guys have a good night.